I was left with pretty much no choice but to reunite some brothers. I will say they are going up against the most effective tag team I've ever seen. Oh my God, Brendan! Drops him down. Shooting Star Press misses. Shit, Clash of the Davids! Oquan's in a lot of trouble now. He's gotta get out of that ring. The Ace Stunner, he got it! Go for a cover, one. Oh no, two. Oh, three! There are your new tag team champions, the Davis Boys! Liam and Andy wanted a Hell in a Cell match. They're real heated. They're gonna blow off some steam inside of a giant metal cage. You know, for being friends, these two really fucking hate each other. Liam is having a lot of trouble getting some momentum going. That's a Q5 to Liam! One, two, three! That was one-sided as fuck! If there's anyone that might be able to beat Brunk, maybe it's the Gentleman Punisher. Brunk Erectus is looking to put it away. Keelan gets out of it! Keelan has got a handful of the Brunky balls! Is the ref not seeing this? Oh, this is the move that put Horse Horse away, the Brunk Train! Brunk Slam connects! One, two, three! Oh! oh my god! Oh, what did we just see? Keelan just kicked out! Brunk doesn't know what to do! Where has Keelan found this iron will? I've never seen anything like this! That's just a slap to the face! Keelan, no! No! The gentleman slam! One! Two! Three! The losing streak is over! I have no words to describe what we just saw. It is now time for the main event, ladies and gentlemen. No hard feelings, Brooks. Just hard punches. Oh, I'm coming out of the gate fast. Throwing Brooks into the fucking turn post. He hit my dirty deeds on the dark cheek! You son of a bitch! Oh, fuck you! Middle rope Phoenix Splash hits! My turn. Let me show you how it's done. One, two, no! Oh, big running DDT onto that ladder! Brooks going for another dragon suplex. One, Two, three, what a main event! Hello, Supla Brawl fans, and welcome to Supla Brawl Big Strong Boy Fight. I am Sam Brooks coming at you live from the Supla Brawl Arena Plex. And let me tell you, Big Strong Boy Fight is a stacked card full of big beefy matches. So let's not delay, let's get in there straight away with the eponymous Big Strong Boy Fight. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the custom Big Strong Boy Fight Arena. And here we are, we are kicking things off. With the big strong boy fight, and oh, look who it is! It's the Derek Club! Team Derek! Andrew Kwan on the left with his Make a Wish byproduct. Derek, Derek on the right, shiny as can be, wearing their matching Derek Club shirts. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I have never been more excited for an event than I have this one. Oh, look at him go. He's going nuts. They're ready to make some noise and win a championship opportunity at the Davis Boys Tag Team Championship. The Big Strong Boy Fight is a six-team gauntlet match. And whoever wins the first match goes on to face the next team. Speaking of teams, here they are. Liam Dahl, what the hell is going on with his scarf? The killer milk floats of Liam Dunn and Dragon Dragon. Now this is a team that has had a lot of history going back at least five years with the wrestler of the decade, Dragon Dragon, and the dickhead of the decade, Liam Dunn himself. 
What the fuck's going on? Is the scar fixed? Yeah, okay. Yeah, look at them. They think they're big, strong boys. Let's see how they fare in the first ever big, strong boy fight. Now, uh, you may be wondering why I'm doing this. Why me? Well, Due to some uh, technical difficulties on the end of one Carmine Antonelli, he's seen all of this, and he and one Lizzie Antonelli did commentate this as the match gets away with Liam. Oh, nice knee drag. I think that's what it's called. Oh, just a stiff kick to the back there. Bam, nice elbow to follow it up. The Antonellis did commentate this, but their audio became super glitchy, so they enlisted me to help. Oh, Liam going for a big Samoan drop. Oh, he's not messing around. He remembers the last time they faced each other in that Hell in a Cell match. He's just going to town as a result. Oh, he's climbing into the corner of Team Derek. Oh, this is risky. This is a ballsy maneuver from the dark. Oh, Derek! With just a kick straight up the asshole. He knows what he's doing. Oh, but Liam reverses the fold on Andy. Whoop, whoop, DDT, DDT, very nice. Liam, of course, remembers our last encounter when he was not victorious. He was, in fact, humiliated and embarrassed inside a Hell in a Cell match. Wherein Andy Kwan became the sole number one contender for my Brawl Championship. Nice reversal there by Andrew Kwan. Dragon Dragon getting hype at his partner's unfortunate circumstances right now. Derek clapping him on as Andy goes to town on the back. Oh, and a nice standing shooting star press. Learning from the best, I see. Now, of course, Andy Kwan, as he makes his way up the turnbuckle, is wearing his signature Derek purple. And Liam Dunn is wearing his new colors of purple. Oh, just a kick to the chest. On he goes for it. A drop kick. Straight off the top turnbuckle. Ain't that lovely? And he just stops away at the back again. Is he going to tag in his world-famous tag team partner, Derek Derek? Maybe he won't even get a chance to. Oh, oh, just face first into the top turnbuckle. Brutal. Ooh. Nice slam there from Liam Dunn. And here he goes, tagging in Dragon Dragon. Who is probably going to unleash hell on the little beast. Dragon Dragon, of course, the first ever jobber to defeat a host in battle. As he goes for a submission hold on Andrew. Could this be it? Could this be an early end to the match? Will Derek even manage to get in? No, nice reversal there. Andy looking flashy lately. I'm liking this. I'm liking this new aggressiveness that we found in him. He's confident. He's big, he's bold, he's beautiful. But is he a big, strong boy? That's what this match is in aim of finding out. Nice Hurricane Rana. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for the tag. Here comes Derek. And they're going for a double move. Nope. And he just wanted one last punch to the face. Here we go. Dragon, dragon. Oh, taken now by Derek. As he goes to the top turnbuckle, what could he be planning? We don't know. Oh, nice flippy flying maneuvery. What a maneuver, Vince McMahon says. As Derek gets him up, but oh, Dragon reverses it. Goes for a nice move, whatever that was. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to call it the Flying Dragon. Oh, another submission attempt. Will Derek be the one to tap out here? Who knows? No. Oh, goes for a pin, but no. Not even a count. Dragon cannot be kept down for too long. As Derek goes, oh, no, went for a move. But it got reversed. Into a back body drop, Derek feeling the pain of the killer milk floats. Now, I've got no idea why the team of Liam Dunn and Dragon Dragon is called the killer milk floats. Bad idea, bad idea. You gotta boot right up the ass again. They are very similar, I suppose, uh, Liam Dunn and Dragon Dragon. They have the same thought patterns, they have the same move set. They even have the same haircut. Oh, it's Derek goes for a pin. Is he gonna do it? One, two, oh, not even a two count. Dragon, Dragon, you are coming through for the killer milk floats. Now a little bit more about the Big Strong Boy Fight match itself. 
Whoever is the last team standing becomes the sole number one contenders for the Davis Boys Tag Team Titles. As Derek goes for a sicky flippy maneuvery. And just a stomp on the crotch with his flippers. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to play the game. Oh, goes for a reversal. Dragon on top now. He's still been going at it for a while. Oh, what's this? Could we be seeing it? Could we be seeing the booth that ends the match? Nope, just a punch to the face. And a dragon suplex. Very nice. He goes for a pin. One. Two. Four. Near fall. Holy shit. This is a strong, strong opening as Dragon goes for the tag on Dud. And Liam just goes for the pin straight away. One. Two. Oh, kick out at two. Good for you, Derek. You're not going to book a T this, are you? No, you're not. Oh, just stomping away on Derek there. Liam likes to pretend that Derek was entirely Andy's fault. Creation, sorry. But we both know that Liam has a stake in Derek. Oh, stiff clothesline right in the corner there. So these two, you might think they're bad blood, but no, I think deep down Liam has a soft spot for Derek as they engage in a brutal rest hold. Will Derek tap out? I would not be surprised. Nope, he's doing okay. He gets out of it. Elbow. Elbow again. Oh, just a kick. Oh, just a punch. A series of punches. Here he comes. He's fired up. It's the editor, Liam Dunn. Former director. He's now the editor. Will he break out the cutting room floor? Who knows? Oh, a big spine buster. Maybe I spoke too soon. We could be seeing it now. Is this what we're going to be seeing? Nope. Straight into the corner. He tags in his partner, Dragon Dragon. The killer milk floats with a strong showing. And oh, are we going to see it? Are we going to see it? Yeah! Sick fucking tag move. This Dragon Dragon goes for the pin on Derek. Andy and Liam both step into the ring. One. Two. Oh, not even a two count. Andy on the ball there. As Dragon stomps on the balls of Derek. Jesus, I do not envy Carmine whatsoever. Another submission attempt. Some kind of torture rack. Andy begging for a tag. He's begging. He wants to get in. Liam also wanting to get in. These two wanting to just beat the hell out of each other. Nice. Derek got out of it. And as I keep trying to say amongst this intense action, the last team standing in the big strong boy fight. It could be neither of these teams. It could be an entirely different team that we have not yet seen. Derek goes for a big power bomb right into the corner. A big Derek buckle bomb, and he is fired up, ladies and gentlemen. But could he be a number one contender for a championship? Here we go, as he goes for a Batista bomb of some description. I'm not entirely sure what that move was, but it looks fucking sick. Here we go. He goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, dragging out at two. Not even needing any help from his partner, Liam Dunn. Derek just with a series of vicious elbows to the shoulder of Dragon. Trying to cut off his wings and cut off his head. The Dragon's been there before and he's not about that life anymore. As he's now in enemy territory, Andy Kwan makes the tag in. Here we go. I think it's time, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the Derek Club special. There we go. It's time for things to kick up as Andy goes for the pin. Is he going to get it? Derek is just so tired. He can't stop Liam from breaking up the pin. Oh, what an unfortunate turn of events. Andy going for a high flying move. Maybe a forearm or a flying nothing of some description. Oh, a nice double drop kick. I don't know what a singular drop kick is. I'm just making shit up as we go. Arm drag by Dragon Dragon. This, this back and forth is just so intense. And we're only in the first stage. Derek is just gassed on the apron there, he's turning purple, and Liam is just totally fine as he makes a tag to Dragon. Liam and Andy now the legal men in this contest. The big strong boy fight is truly off to a great start as Liam misses with a kick, and he tries to go for something, but no- oh, oh, what's this? A DDT! A spinning DDT, very nice Andrew. Andy of course pulling double duty as he is in a match in the main event of tonight. For my Super Brawl Championship. Andy is the last person on the roster I want to face right now. 
And I think this is a good indicator of that as he just takes some punches to the face. Liam potentially going, oh, just for a straight dick punch. Liam, the dirtiest player in the game, other than Keelan Balderson. Here as he goes to the top rope. Flying elbow. Big fan of Kyrie Sane, as demonstrated here. Oh, and he reverses whatever Liam was going for there, as the guy in the front row is really, really hype about all of this. He's just so happy to be here in the Arena Plex tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as am I. In my first ever commentary duty, I hope I'm doing justice. Air Kwan! Straight into the face of Liam Dunn! Will he be able to capitalize and take it home for his team? Nice standing moonsault there. Here we go, he's gonna bring it home, I bet. Nope, Liam not letting him. Nice arm twisty maneuvery. As he goes straight into the corner again. And straight into the corner again. Oh, right into that turnbuckle post. Those are not padded, ladies and gentlemen, with a vicious R slam. Good God, Liam is just desperate. He's just clamoring for a shot at some gold. And can he get it here? One, two, no, kick out at two as both freakish partners step back into their respective corners. As for the other teams in this match, they have a hell of a match to follow. It is a spine buster. Straight into a pin attempt. The lights went out. One, two. Oh, nope. Andy not letting Liam get anything over him. He has a title shot later on tonight. Regardless of whether he wins the Big Strong Boy fight, he wants to preserve his honor as best he can. Liam has everything to lose as he lost last event, and he could also lose tonight. Dragon Dragon would not be best pleased with that result, though I can guarantee it. Maybe it might be the end of the Killer Milk Floats. Who knows? Who knows the, du the duration of any of these teams, quite frankly. As Liam goes for a, a, a move that I forgot the name of. Are you regretting your decision yet, Carmine? Oh, he's stamping on the mat. He's going ape. He's going ham. He's ready for it. He's ready for it. The Cutting Room Floor! Baggy hits it. He goes for the pin attempt. Derek not coming in. One, two, three. Liam and Dragon Dragon are the first winners in the Big Strong Boy fight. Who are their opponents next? The Killer Milk Floats are ready. They're standing ready. Who's it going to be, ladies and gentlemen? I'm excited. Oh. Okay. Things are about to pick up, here they are, my precious TNA, <laughs> fucking Jabba Champion, Keelan Balderson, and Gollum Dixie. Oh, this is a force to be reckoned with, Keelan, fresh off a of victory, defeating Bronk Erectus in a match of the year candidate for the Super Jabba Championship. Gollum Dixie is also there, this team is a force to be reckoned with, Keelan, also pulling double duty tonight as he defends his job at championship against Bronk in a rematch. That should be an interesting evening, to say the least. Here we go. Now remember, just because Killer Milk Float started the match, by the end of it, they could be out on their backs. The last team standing wins the big strong boy fight as we kick off our second phase, bell rings again, here we go, Liam and Keelan starting things off, Liam in the purple, Keelan in the white, the gentleman Punisher versus the editor. Oh nice shoulder tackle there from Liam, into a DDT, in the killer milk float corner, Liam presumably looking to finish this off quickly, as he wants to just get it over with, so he can get a shot of a gold. But it won't happen tonight. No, it won't, because the Davis boys have the night off. Well, one of them does. The other one is scheduled in a match for tonight, which you will see later. As Keelan goes straight to the top, looking for some big, impressive flying crossbody maneuver. Nope, just a big flying nothing, but actually connected. For the first time in human history, Keelan picking up Liam. Oh, just a knee straight into the face. The beautiful beardy face of Balderson. As Dragon Dragon looks on at the rest hold, the referee intently paying attention to see if Keelan will submit to even the slightest gust of wind. We would not put it past him at this point, but hey, maybe that Jabba Championship gives him that extra bit of motivation as he goes for a sick leg bar. 
or something like that. I don't know. He's already tired. He's going to tag in his partner, the ever effeminate Gollum Dixie. Who now has absolutely no relevance to the company formerly known as TNA. But we're going to play along with it anyway as a joke. Liam Dunn just going to town on the back of Gollum Dixie with some fierce elbow strikes to the face and just a stomp on the chest. Gollum Dixie has seen worse days. Oh, a nice reversal there, punching in the face. Oh, what's this? Oh, just a choking maneuver. I don't even know what you would call that. Yo, here she goes to the top rope, nearly losing her footing there. Is she gonna be able to connect with a big move? We're about to find out as Gollum Dixie all risk. Very high reward as a drop kick connects to the face of Liam Dunn. Gollum Dixie stalking her prey like the businesswoman that she is. Is she gonna go for a pin? Yes, she is. One, two, no, kick out a two. Liam Dunn, that would just be embarrassing for you if you lost to Gollum Dixie. Oh, just a gut punch there. Oh, with a fierce punch to the face. Liam decides to tag in. Dragon, dragon, here we go. The dragon versus the Dixie. It's a dream match, everybody. I am excited as fuck to see this unfold. Nice reversal there from Dragon. Now, in terms of these two teams, I think the Killer Milk Floats definitely have the edge going forward. Easily, handily taking care of Team Derek or the Derek Club, or whatever the fuck they're called, because Andy can never decide on one fucking name for anything in his goddamn life. Making easy work of that team. Surely it would make sense that a entirely unimpressive jobber such as Garlem Dixie, and the jobber champion of Keelan Balderson, would fall. But who knows, maybe a future championship match will come from whoever kin pins Keelan. Uh, whoever kins Peelan, great. I'm just stumbling all over my words tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It is my debut. Please forgive me with a nice rest hold on Dragon Dragon applied by Keelan Balderson. Now you gotta wonder, what is Keelan's mindset as he goes forward into tonight knowing that on the horizon there is a big brunky boy waiting for him and he's angry. He wants his championship back from the man that took it from him. Could we be seeing the rise and fall of Keelan Balderson. We won't know until we get to that match with a submission hold applied. Could this be it? Dragon Dragon might tap out here. No, quickly reversed, proving me wrong. Dragon has more metal than that. Here we go. Nice suplex straight onto the ropes. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Raising his fist in dominance. Yes! I am the dragon. Hear me roar as Keelan goes for an elbow. Not able to get any momentum going so far. Oh, he says that. He reverses. Here we go. Oh, just the dirtiest player in the game getting a hold of that big dragon dick. And those balls of fire. Nice takedown move. And Keelan with a taunt of his own. Woo! The conspiracy riding, government fighting, brunk stealing, belt taken, son of a gun. The pundit boy, the gentleman punisher. I forgot to do that in his introduction. Oh, this is what you get when you put a fan on commentary, Carmine, as Dragon Dragon tags in, Liam Dunn. Sick tag team maneuver, taking Keelan to the top. What the fuck are they doing? A big double dragon suplex! Holy shit! What a move. Liam just running circles around Keelan for a moment there, as he goes straight to the top rope, looking for another insane elbow. There he goes! A sickening elbow, and he's... Thinking real hard about what to do next. He's pacing around. He can't let Keelan get any momentum back. It is a spine buster. Right as I say that, could this be the end? One, two. Oh, two and a half kick out. Keelan Balderson showing that he's not the man he used to be. He is now a changed man as Liam grabs nothing repeatedly. Oh, just a kick to the chest of Keelan Balderson. Is Liam going to maybe go for a cutting room floor at some point? It is how he got a victory in the last match as Dragon Dragon is tagged in. And we're ready for it again. Just a diving Dragon foot stomp. Here we go as Dragon Dragon this time goes for the pin. Sharing the workload. One, two, 
Oh, Golem Dixie breaks it up. What a woman. What a woman to have in your corner as Dragon Dragon just stands there in disbelief that he was bested by Golem Dixie. Oh, sick kick to the face. Dragon is down. Keelan deciding that enough is enough and it is time for a change as he throws Dragon into the corner and tags in Dixie. These two could be a very cohesive unit. Nice! Assisted Samoan drop with a neck talk. Oh, Keelan just trying to spear Liam, but it didn't work. Dixie with the cover. Three! Holy shit! Oh my god! In a shocking turn of events, my precious TNA advances in the big strong boy fight, but who are they up against now? Oh my god. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. That's... That's Barry! That's Disco David, is that... Politically correct George? The inferior Lazy Pals! Making their debut as a team tonight in the Big Strong Boy Fight! Holy shit! I was not ready for this at all. These three... Entities... I would say people, but PCG is a robot reprogrammed to have a fun time instead of being politically correct all of the time by Barry and Disco Dave, two roster members who felt severely underutilized in the current brawl landscape and they thought, why flounder as individuals when we could flounder as a trio? So I believe it is Disco Dave and Barry Barry continuing the big strong boy fight, bringing it to my precious TNA who are completely blindsided by this development with just the shiniest outfits on the roster. I cannot believe what I am seeing as Keelan Balderson locks up with Barry not having any of his shit as his leg freaks out on the turnbuckle pad there at the bottom. Ooh, this is intense ladies and gentlemen. Neither starting team made it through to the end. This could mean anything. Whoever is the last team to enter the match as Barry gets hung up on the ropes there. Really has the advantage. Politically correct George not having a fun time on the apron there. Oh damn, those ropes really getting just pounded into this match. With a dirty boot to the back of Keelan Balderson by Barry. Barry with a newfound aggression, a newfound sense of purpose, a new sense of being. Can these inferior lazy pals become superior in the big strong boy fight and earn a championship opportunity against the Davis boys. We're about to find out as Barry gets taken down by a buck grab of some variety. Keelan going for a tag. Dixie, go get him, he says, as he walks far away from Barry Barry's big bullshit. Nice run up the rope sequence. Oh, Hurricane Runner from Dixie. And just another stomp to the face. My eyes cannot stare at the body of Barry Barry for too long with his shiny attire and his even shinier yellow skin. No one really knows what Barry is about. The Supla Hall of Famer going for a sick neck breaker. As Disco Dave and Politically Correct George just look on in amazement. Maybe this newfound trio of pals can fucking pick up the victory here tonight as the corpse of Dixie is just embarrassed by Barry. It's an embarrassment as Disco Dave makes his way over to Gollum Dixie and just punch, just a big punch and a DDT. Disco Dave, of course, holding a victory over Keelan Balderson. So maybe it could be a repeat of former events and hey, if Keelan gets pinned by another jobber, Guess who you're going to be facing if you retain tonight against Brunk? Keelan boy, I assume. I don't book this, I just, I give ideas and sometimes they get used, sometimes they don't. As Garland Dixie gets the upper hand, goes back in, here we go, round two. Balderson versus Dave, let's go. Disco Dave going for a nice suplex. With his tassels, just, this is the epitome of Disco here tonight. Oh, just a headbutt and a nice stomp to the stomach, I suppose. Keelan not taking anything laying down anymore. 
That was the old him. The old Keelan cannot come to the phone right now. Why? Oh, because he's dead. This new Keelan has his Jabba Championship motivating him to carry on through the Jabba's division and burn it down. Oh, he goes to the top rope. What could he be going for here? Another double axe handle. No, an elbow drop that misses. Oh, Keelan, you had the right idea, but you took too long. As Dave tags back in Barry. Oh, they're going to do it. Are they just going to go for the old one, two? Yes, they are. What a sick tag team maneuver there. Keelan quickly regaining some of the upper hand here. Oh, no, he's in enemy territory. He's trying to fight his way out of it. Dave trying to get a hand in on Keelan, but nope, not fast enough, Dave. Nice slam there from Keelan as he goes for the pin. Could this be it? One? No, Barry is not going down that easy. As Budio's man stands up in amazement. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot predict a winner here. Mostly because I don't know who else is coming into this match, but also because it could go either way, as we have seen so far today. Liam and Andy's teams, both out of a running very early on. Keelan, the Jabba champion, versus a newly established trio. Both teams have their upsides, as Barry goes upside down and back around again, after a nice flippy maneuver by Gollum Dick Serino. Oh, Barry with a nice flippy maneuver of his own. I wish I knew the names of some of these moves. It would probably make this a lot more enjoyable for you to listen to. As Gollum Dixie goes for a Irish rip into a slam. Oh, and PCG trying to bring in a bit of fun to the party with a steel chair. Could this be the end of the match? Who knows? Gollum Dixie getting fired up in the corner there. Trying to keep free inferior lazy pals from using any foreign objects. Oh, just a vicious elbow. Barry's hair going nuts. Oh, it's just it's just Flip City over here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he's going for the chair. As PCG distracts the ref. Oh, the dirtiest, dirtiest group of people in this game. Barry tagging in Disco Dave. Can this be the end of my precious TNA? Soon to be known as my precious Impact or my precious GFW. Who knows anymore? Disco Dave. Oh, whatever he's trying to go for there got reversed. And Dixie just... Nice. Double knees straight into the stomach. PCG getting involved. Gollum not taking it lightly. She's bringing it to him. Oh, Disco Dave is getting to his feet. Gollum, you better you better watch out. You better watch out. This could be the end of my precious TNA. Oh, Disco Dave with an Irish rip into another corner. Going up to the top rope. Oh, flying crossbody. The funky crossbody from Dave there as he goes for a pin. Could this be the end? One, two, no, a crossbody will not keep a good woman down. As Dixie and her brown pants just dominating this match, I guess. I'm not even sure anymore. It's hard to keep track of who's dominant and who's not when it's a majority of the jobbers. This is, in fact, the entire jobbers division. Oh, what's this? Oh, neck talk, Samoan drop. Could this be the end? Keelan getting some retribution here. One! No, Barry quick to the draw, taking out both Gollum Dixie and that pinfall attempt. Gollum Dixie, though, flying Barry out. Gollum, what are you doing? You don't kick Keelan. You silly bitch. Dave, though, still on the ground as Keelan goes for a vicious stomp sequence. Oh, into just of the dirtiest eye rake. Keelan is not pulling any punches or nails today. Dragging him to the center of the ring. Oh, here we go. A slam connects! Keelan going for the tag again. Maybe? No, he's just chilling for a bit. He's just catching his breath. Pointing at PCG. Yeah, you're not having any of this, mate. This isn't your match, this is my match. I am the king of your division. Uh. Oh, Dave. Dave, you better capitalize. Oh, just a sick punch to the back of the head of Keelan. Tagging in Barry as this crowd picks up some cheers. For the opposing team. Oh, Barry going for a neck breaker. Oh, with some flourish. The flourishing neck breaker from Barry. What's he going to do? He's prepping for it. He's pumping his fist in the air. You know what's coming. Oh, the Barry elbow. 
connects with a vicious impact. Barry going for the pin. One, two. No, the Java Champion is more resilient than that. Barry, Barry, you have to do better if you want to put your name in the hat for a title shot in the future. Oh, oh, this could be the end. What is Barry going to go for here? We don't know. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a vicious twisting backbreaker. Go for pin. One, two, three. The Inferior Lazy Pals pick up the victory. The Inferior Lazy Pals advance through the Big Strong Boy Fight, but they have to go through the biggest obstacle anyone could ever face. Quite literally, as size difference make their entrance into the Big Strong Boy Fight. Oh, look at this reigning pyro. Han's backing the wrong boy for whatever reason. We don't know where Alquan is. Maybe he's just having his circuitry updated. Oh, Bronchi Rectus, the former Jabba champion, making his way to the ring right now, slowly but surely. Losing to Keelan Balderson in a match of year candidate at When Doves Cry. This man is driven as hell. Both as a former Jabba champion and as a former tag team champion, also losing that to the Davis boys, this man has nothing left to lose, but everything to gain should he be able to defeat this new trio of young upstarts with his mechanical little buddy. Who knows if his pistons are going to be packing some extra punches today. The only thing I can say for sure is that the inferior lazy pals you better step up your game, gentlemen, because this right here is the most dominant tag team in Supla Brawl history. Am I doing good? Did you like that? People in the front row with your horrendously outdated shirts. Here he comes. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. There are no strings on this little Borg. Here he is, Alquan. A force to be reckoned with, with a U5 for the ages. Oh, you got the pyro back. Very good, I like it. With his custom shirt there. Just a nice shot of the darkness there from the camera, that's great. Oh, the big strong boy fight is really picking up now, ladies and gentlemen. Team size difference versus the inferior lazy pals. If I were Brendan, or Brandon, or both. I would be very worried about whoever wins this match. Because these are some teams that are very clearly forces to be reckoned with. Alcorn showing no fear as he faces opposite the Inferior Lazy Pals, the new three-man team ready to take the tag division by storm. But they have to first go through their biggest and smallest challenges yet. Oh, well, I'm taking a moment to really soak in the admiration of the people. Size difference being perhaps a fan favorite in this series of matches. The big strong boy fight going over a treat with a live crowd here tonight as we kick things off once more. Referee drawing them both. Bronchi Rectus and Barry Barry starting things off. This could be Oh, just, oh, just a series of hard hits right out of the gate to Brunk. Oh, good lord. Barry is just in an extra gear right now. This is insane. And a submission hold already applied early on in the match. Brunk, of course, breaking out of it. He may be big and he may be dumb, but he is not weak at all. An arm drag. Holy hell, Brunk just... He's off his game, I think. Losing that title really did a number on him, but... Maybe I spoke too soon as he starts getting back to his old dominance. Just destroying Barry Barry with his legs like tree trunks. They're insanely large. Dragging the corpse of Barry. Oh, just standing on him. Oh, Barry didn't deserve that. Barry, you started off so strong. What happened? This Bronk, just again, just a vicious kick right to the midsection of Barry Barry. Disco Dave with a tear in his eye as his partner just gets destroyed by the Destroyer, the tenth wonder of the world, Bronchi Rectus. Hans Schmidt firmly in the corner of size difference, his little pet project. 
Barry deciding he's had enough. Dave, you go. Teamwork at its finest. Oh, just a nice aerial maneuver from Dave. Missing with a kick, but nope. Bronk ain't having none of it. As he just sizes up Dave. Oh, Dave gets a cheap shot in. Oh my god, he's gonna pay for it. Oh, good lord. Disco Dave. Disc no Dave. Here comes Alquan. Here come his fiery circuitries ready to make you feel the pain. As he whips Dave into the ropes, followed up by a wicked clothesline and a sick kick to the back. Disco Dave, not going to take any of this lightly. He holds a victory over Keelan Balderson twice now, technically speaking. So maybe Disco Dave is the force to be reckoned here. As Alquan just lays into the man stuck in the 70s. Here we go. A little, little Borg here, picking up some steam. Nice suplex. This is that tag team work that made size difference. So beloved by the Supla City Arenaplex fan base. What indeed, as Dave drags Alquan over to his own corner. Probably not your most effective strategy, Disco Dave. And of course, the wild cards here being Hans Schmitter and politically correct George. We have already seen Politically Correct George get involved in this big, strong boy fight tonight by introducing a chair that might have spelt the downfall of my precious TNA. Could we be seeing that again? Maybe the Inferior Lazy Pals don't have much going for them in the way of strength. They just know how to play the game. As Barry, oh, it's just a vicious reversal for whatever Alquan was trying to go for there. Tell you, this match will go down in history for one reason or another and I hope that it's for the reason that it, it is just Alquan what are you doing Alquan why are you just standing there did your circuitry like short circuit you gotta you gotta get your head in the game man robot man as Barry goes for a pin one so oh, the referee just slapping Alquan in the head with that count maybe that's what woke him up you woke him up referee Oh, just Barry with a series of elbows. Straight onto that mechanical dome casing. ECG and Hans Schmitter watching intently from ringside. Bronchi Rectus probably itching to get in. You can see him just standing there, watching his little cyborg buddy get decimated by the newly intense Barry Barry. Oh, reversal there from Alquan. This could go either way. I am genuinely surprised at how this match has gone so far. Oh, Alquan going to Dave. Oh, and PCG. Oh, they're trying to smack talk him. And it worked. He got the distraction. Oh, Barry with a sick double knee straight to the back of a dome casing of Alquan. Barry dragging him, maybe going for a pin. This could be it already. One. No, says Alquan. You are not going to take down the most dominant brawl tag team in the, sl the slightest of ease. My words are starting to crumble because I'm just so excited. Disco Dave makes his way into the ring. Just going for a cover. Why not? One, two, or not even two. Brunk quick to the draw. However, he is not completely out of the fight yet. PCG intently watching his new pal just drive Alquan straight into the mat. Well, what are you doing now? You can't be having a spat now. Guys, you're supposed to be pals, as Dave goes up to the top. Barry directing traffic from the outside. Dave perhaps going for it. Oh, just a nothing, just a nothing. Didn't connect at all. Dave now going for an Irish rip as Barry makes his way back to his corner. Oh, just a vicious reversal there. Alcon sending Dave right into his corner, and this is where things could pick up, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, here he comes, a big bronky boy. Straight to the top rope, oh my god! Disco Dave, you're about to fucking die! Oh my god! Brunky Rectus goes for a pin! No! Not even! Barry trying to get involved, he senses the danger. Oh, but Dave, straight back up. Oh, bye Dave! See ya, buddy! Looks like Bronk is really starting to pick up steam. Oh, I saw it, I see a chair! PCG once again, introducing a chair! Oh, these vicious, vicious boys! They know what they're doing. They know how to play the game. 
Maybe this newfound aggression and bending of the rules in front of a fucking blind referee could see them become the new number one containers for the Davis boys as Bronk gets double teamed by the Inferior Lazy Pals, driving his chest and head straight into the mat. Barry now going for a pin. Disco Dave. Keep an Aquan from getting there. One. No. -ho -ho. Bronk will not go down that easy. Dave and Aquan now going at it in the ring for no reason at all. Barry and Bronkurectus just have trading shots there in the other corner. This is just insane. Dave jumping over back to his corner. The chair still in use. Alquan dead on the mat. Bronk just sitting there. Taking those elbows like a Bronky boy. Barry not going for the chair, surprisingly. The referee just staring at Alquan, making sure he gets back in. Oh, Alquan's had enough. Oh, he spears Dave off the apron. Holy hell. Size difference on not going down easy. Barry, however, goes for the pin. One, two. Nope. Brunk has that resilience, that drive, that urge to succeed, that led him onto the biggest dominating streak in Supla Brawl, right up until he ran into the path of the Gentleman Punisher. Maybe he feels like he has to make up for lost time in this match. Who knows? Maybe he won't be bested. The referee just picking up the chair and throwing it down again as Bronx just sits on Barry. Dave kicking up a fuss in the corner there. Alquan trying to go for the hot tag as Barry gets sent back into the corner of size difference. Oh, an arm drag on the big Bronky boy with his hollow bones. Ooh, face driven straight into the mat there. Referee once again picking up the chair and throwing it out. Good, do your job. The crowd doesn't chant. I wish it would chant that. Whoop, Bronk in enemy territory. This could be bad. What is... What are they going for? Oh, just a assisted punch to the face and... Oh my god! The lazy stretch. As Dave now goes for the pin, Barry directing traffic. One, two... Oh my god! The inferior lazy powers are a force to be reckoned with! The Inferior Lazy Pals making a statement tonight. Who will stop them? Oh. I don't know. I know a couple of guys. <laughs> Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Transatlantic Vice. Hell yeah. Your reigning and defending Super Brawl Champion, yours truly, Sam Brooks and Carmine Antonelli. With Ellie Wilmer in our corner, are we maybe the ones to stop the impressive Inferior Lazy Pals tonight? Are we the ones to maybe win the Big Strong Boy Fight? And am I the one to maybe get a future shot at the Tag Team Championships? It's a Team Fair Hair Civil War once again if we would win, but for right now, I'm just here to have some fun. I already have a championship match tonight. I got nothing to lose here. All I want to do is dick around with my best friend and kick the shit out of some jobbers. With my ever-beautiful girlfriend at ringside. Oh, PCG, yep, yep, you're just there. You're just right there. You want to get a first fucking front row view of the coolest guys on the roster? How are you doing? Good to see you. I'm probably gonna kick you in your fucking head if you get involved. Let's do this, lads. Carmine and myself enter the fray as the big strong boy fight enters its final phase. The inferior lazy powers are clearly a force to be reckoned with, but who better than the most dominant champions in Brawl? Carmine and Barry starting things off here. Barry going for his trademark offense at the start of the match to really try and drive the point home that he is no longer a man to be blamed for problems. A man usurped in favor of Derek. A man who is a Supla Hall of Famer that everybody forgets about. Maybe tonight will be the night that all changes as Carmen Antonelli takes a sick knee right to his fucking Italian head. Oh, nope. We know him better than that, buddy. You gotta get in there and you gotta destroy this team. Who are these three assholes who think they can just step into our arena plex and take what's ours? I mean, I'm all for, like, a state of unity. Team Bearhair is the only dominant stable in Brawl, I think you'll find. Derek Club, get fucked. Team Bearhair was here before you were. 
and everybody actually likes us. As Carmen Antonelli goes for a dive, misses with a foot stomp. Oh, if, if, it were, if it were us, if it were us in there, which it is, I'd say we have a clear winners here. Liam couldn't do it. Andy couldn't do it. Keelan couldn't do it. Brendan didn't even try, so it's now up to us. Oh, it's... Carmine inadvertently takes out Dave, or maybe it was Adverton. Who the fuck knows what's going on in that crazy man's head as he tries to get out of a corner. Oh, there it is, jumping DDT. I think it's time. I think it's time, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am. There he is, folks. Let's do some double teaming on Barry, shall we? No, where are you going? Get back. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine. I'll take it myself. Ha! Ah! Welcome to Brawl, Barry. I'm just gonna go for a pin straight away. One, two, with his hair just being slapped by the referee. Kick out at two. Yep, 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 here we go. Going to the top rope. I know what to do here. I know how to beat them. Here we go. Oh my god, ow! I missed whatever the fuck I was going for there, but it looked cool, so I don't really care. Barry's had enough. He's gonna try and go for a tag. Maybe not. Maybe he's just too fucking dumb to try and go for a tag. Maybe I'm too quick. Oh, gow. Fuck's sake. Okay. It's fine, everybody. Don't worry. I'm still the champ. I'm still the champ. I got nothing to lose, even if I do lose here. Here we go. Disco Dave and myself squaring off for the first time. Sling Blade. There we go. Business is now picking up, as it should. I'm going to apply a nice, neat little submission hold onto Dave. Weakening that back for when I want to suplex him later. There he goes into the corner. Ow, fuck. Now, let's not, let's not undersell this. This, ow, this fucking team of three asshole jobbers have beaten size difference. Size difference. The most dominant tag team in Brawl history. I keep repeating it because it's true. Fucking ow, by the way. Maybe the inferior lazy pals are the new kids on the block, but don't take shit from nobody. Going for a rest hold on my head. I do not appreciate that rough temperament, Disco Dave. You already have a victory over a host. You have several victories over a host, apparently. One, two, nope. Not allowing it to happen. I'm sorry. This is, ow, this is the thing. With the Imperial Easy Pals on this new dominant stretch, Maybe they put their name in the hat for contendership in the future. As I tag in Carmine Antonelli. Here we go. Oh, nope. Oh, god damn it, he reversed it. Nice. Thanks, Carmine. Just punch him in the head. That'll do. I'm out of here. Here we go. The blue American, the lunatic host. Going straight for the chest of Dave. I'm riling him up. As I should. Kick his ass, Carmine. Here we go. Just a sick knee to the face. Are you expected me to be impartial? Ha, no. I take pride in my team. I take pride in Team Bear Hair. Oh, for fuck's sake, Carmine. Get it together. Get your head in the game. We cannot lose to this... To this fuckface trio. We gotta... We gotta pull it out of our asses here. There you go. Just put your elbow in his afro. That's where he hides all of his secrets. His secret to being so powerful. Oh, God. Yes, reverse it, good man. Am I now going for a lift of some description? Nope. Straight into the mat he goes. As Ellie looks on at ringside, as PCG looks on at ringside. There have been two chairs in two matches. Are we about to see a third as Dave pumps himself up in the corner? What are we about to see? Could we be seeing it? Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The funky town clothesline. Fucking hell, this can't be happening. We cannot lose to these inferior lazy pals. Are they inferior and lazy only in name? Apparently so. Apparently they're super athletic as... Oh my god. Oh no. Not the lazy stretch. Oh my god. He's down. Come on, it's an He gets hit with a lazy stretch. Just a vicious tag team combo that's put away somebody before. Barry goes for the pin. One. Two. I... Uh, yep, I break it. Ow, fuck's sake. I break it up but my face gets slammed into the bottom rope. So really... God. This is just a sad turn of events. Who would have thought that three frustrated jobbers could be so good at their job Heh. when given the opportunity? I certainly never considered this. Maybe we underestimated them. As Carmine gets put into the uh, 
Top right corner of the ring. Barry going for a big body drop. Is he going to get it? Yes, he is. Ah. Ellie flinching in pain as I am too. It sucks to see a team member get decimated like this, but you know. I think he's got it in him. Come on, Anton. I'll leave a comeback, kid. I think he's got it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Barry's going for it. He's going for it. Oh, the Barry elbow. Maybe he's, maybe he's signaling for the end. Maybe this is the end. Maybe Team Bearhair will no longer be the kids on the block that run the campus. Oh, no. Carmine, proving us wrong. Nope. Punched in the head again. Great. Unable to get any momentum going whatsoever. Oh, reversed again. Nice neck break of air from Carmine. Carmine now going for an Irish whip into Team Bearhair territory. Hey, Barry. How you doing? Here we go. Time for me to tag in. Oh, we're going for it. Is it a Team Bear Hair Buster? Yes, it is. Nice. As I go for a pin on Barry. Referee, for fuck's sake, count. One, two. Ah, oh, Disco Dave quick to the draw. What am I going to do instead? I'm just going to go for it again. No, fuck you, Dave. Nope, Barry will not let me do that. For fuck's sake. Yep, it's time. It's time, Barry. You know what's coming. Nope. Psych, I guess. What the fuck? Me. Get it together, man. Oh, he's groggy. He's, he doesn't know where he is. Barry's dazed and confused. As we go into the top right turn buckle once more. Oh, just a sick combo there. Let's right, call that the one-two kick. Here we go. Barry getting his shit handed to him now. Here we go. Dragon suplex into a pin attempt, but a rope break, I believe. For God's sake, I need to be more careful. Here we go. More another Irish rip into the corner. Don't tag in Carmine, he's gassed. Yeah, I can do this for a little bit, it's fine. Oh, face first into that second turnbuckle. Here we go, it's time for the end. Early cheering me on, Carmine ready to go and fight Dave if need be. Oh, god damn it. No, it's fine though. Right into our favorite turnbuckle once more. Ow, for fuck's sake. Barry with his elbows of death. Who would have thought that would be the biggest problem here? Oh, here we go. Are we going to see another big move? I think we are. Oh, for fuck's sake, will you stop elbowing me in the face? Barry. You're not Cassius Ono. I am the one who elbows the jobbers in the face. I am the one who knocks on your face with my elbow. Oh, good lord. Barry going for a bulldog from the top turnbuckle. Oh, I feel like this could be it, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like we're nearing the end of this epic confrontation. The battle for the ages. The big strong boy fight matchup. The first of its kind as Barry gets driven into that turnbuckle. Once again, I'm going up to the top. I'm calling for it. I think it's time. Are you ready for it, ladies and gentlemen? Here it comes. This is a little move I like to call the drop kick. To the back of Barry. Barry. I'm not done yet, though, folks. Here we go. Yep. Standing moonsault. Just the way I like it. Come on, go. Here we go. And here I'm out. Oh, come on, going for a pin instead. All right, fine. You want to take my glory? Fine, have it your way. Nope, Barry won't let that happen. Here we go. Me and Dave over the top ropes again. Come on, what have you got planned in your head? I wish I knew, but I trust you, you crazy motherfucker. Here we go as he just picks up Barry. Oh, into a DDT. Not quite the dirty deeds, but we'll get there eventually, I'm sure. Yeah, bring me in again. Let's do this. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. We can do this. Oh, I'm just going to go for a pin. Yeah, you want to one-up me? How about I do it to you? Two? Oh, Barry, you resilient motherfucker. With your elbows, sharp as knives. Here's some of my own. How do you like them apples? This is what you call a cohesive team. Mind out, Ellie. I don't want to tread on your head. Here we go. Whoa, big splash from the top rope. Here we go, Barry. Up. Oh, you missed that one, didn't you? Yep, here we go. Driving your face first into the mat where you belong. This team of inferior lazy pals, I got to give them credit. It may not be us, but they are fucking resilient as I just deck you with an elbow. Here we go. One, two... Oh my god! Was that it? No! Dave going for it. Oh, ow, god, my ass. Oh, 
Disco Day's knee went right up my asshole. That was not good. Me and Barry are stand still now. Cor crawling to the wrong corners, I believe. Here we go, yeah. Remember Victory Chode? We were in the Final Four. How about that? You remember that little backstory? Oh god, this is why you're sending me into any territory. This is why you feel like you have something to prove against me, isn't it? Oh god, not again! Not the lazy stretch! Ah! The most repeated and feared move in tag team history, the lazy stretch! Me and Carmine have both fallen victims to this, I think I'm out. One. Two. Oh, nope. Supla Brawl Champion is not gonna take that sitting down. Barry and Dave just jumping into each other. Dave going for a top rope maneuver. What is it gonna be? He's calling for it. He's signaling for it. The crowd are on their feet. This capacity crowd in the arena plex cannot wait to see the following move. A drop kick of his own to match mine. We really are two opposites of the same coin here. Ellie, you could at least help a little bit. You could get a chair, maybe. Carmine, you're good, you're fine. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on recovering so that I can tag you in and you can bring it home. I hope. I fucking hope. Oh god, a shining wizard. Oh fuck. A glittering wizard, I think it's called. But it's fine. You're in Team Bearhead's corner. We're just gonna break it up. Yep, Ellie? Yeah, thank you. Oh god, no, what did you do, Ellie? Oh yes, thank you, Carmine, just punch him in his dick! Yeah, get him off that top turnbuckle, he doesn't belong there. Yep, just punch it, nothing, Dave. You're good, keep on doing that, man. I need to fucking wake up, holy shit. We're both standing at a standstill. Nothing is happening right now. I'm just, I'm just, I'm getting ready. I'm recovering. Here we go, Dave, you just decided to watch in my, bask in my glory. Oh, for God's sake. Oh god, oh no, here it is. Oh, a glittering wizard, oh god, another one. I've eaten like five finishes here. Come on. Come on, bring it up. Come on, bring it up. All right, one, two, come on, bring it up. Oh, uh, didn't even need to. Didn't even need to. Here we go. If I, if I were me, which I am, I would get the fuck out of here right now, but no, I have something to prove against Disco Dave. Here we go, another sick turnbuckle move, could this be the end of the match coming up right here? I think it is! Oh my god, here we go, we're gonna go for a big superplex! Oh my god, straight off the top turnbuckle and that hurt me just as much as it hurt Dave, holy shit! I'm gonna go for a pit off that, I feel like this is deserved, one, two, nope, Dave is more resilient than that. Oh my god, I'm exhausted. This is just something else entirely. This big strong boy fight has been a match to remember for the ages. Carmine, bring it home, lad. Let's take care of business. He goes there with a kick to the back of Disco. Barry itching to get in. The capacity crowd, so invested in this match, they want their favorite boys to win. I don't know who their favorite boys are at this point. It's probably me and Carmine, but who knows? Oh, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, just another vicious stomp right into the chest. Come on again, go into the top rope. We are the top ropiest tag team in Brawl at the moment, it seems. Dave getting to his feet. Come on, call him for it. Could it be the same move we've seen already? Yes, just a drop kick. A beautiful picture, perfect drop kick to Dave. Who just punches him in the nuts. Ref, referee, are you blind, motherfucker? Dave Cadrada. Holy shit, you're in enemy territory, bud. You might want to get out of there. Oh my god. Getting pinned here. Might want to stop it. One. Two. There you go, buddy. It's not over yet. Oh god, a double team. Referee, are you kidding me with this? This is just unfair. They have the unfair advantage here. We should fire that referee. He's not our usual one. What happened to Red Shoes? He wouldn't, he wouldn't stand for this bollocks. That's Disco Dave. Oh, goes for a big DDT assisted by the turnbuckles. The turnbuckles really are Team Bearhead's biggest enemies, but Barry not allowing Dave to tag. What in the world is going on? Are these Inferior Lazy Powers on the same page at all? Dave going for a delayed pin here. Come on, you better pick out, otherwise it'll be really embarrassing. One, two, there you go. You're no longer embarrassed. I'm going back over. 
Come on, boy. There we go. A punch to the side of Disco Dave. I think it's time. I'm calling for it. Blue Thunderbomb! Going into a pin. Oh, but politically correct, George, you piece of shit. No, not the referee, you idiot. For fuck's sake. What is going on now? Carmine, quickly, get a chair or something. No, don't kick him in the chest. You know that doesn't work. You've already tried it. Come on! Thank God the referee is apparently an idiot, otherwise we would be out of here. Oh, here we go. I think it's time. Come on in with that bear hair gun. Oh, just a sick knee right to the face, but bear hair gun connects. Come on, going for a pin. One, two, three! Here are your winners of the big strong boy fight, Transatlantic Vice! The bear hair gun, I don't even know if that's the name of your move, I don't fucking know, you haven't told me about it. That was kind of a surprise. Holy shit. The inaugural Big Strong Boy Fight has been won by the last team to enter the match. Team Bear Hair's own Transatlantic Vice. We are the vice of the inferior lazy pals who put on an amazing display of athleticism and standing around apparently because they don't even know when to tag in each other properly. Maybe they self-sabotaged. Maybe they got scared. Maybe they thought, uh, maybe we shouldn't be Team Bear Hair. Maybe we should let them fight each other. So you know what this means, ladies and gentlemen. Team Bear Hair, Transatlantic Vice, versus Team Bear Hair, the Davis Boys. Even though Brandon isn't really in it, I don't know if he's in it or not. Maybe we should probably clarify that amongst the leaders. Here we go. There it is, the Team Bear Hair gun. The straight up sick need of a face. Ellie telling me, go. Take care of Barry. Barry is just. I'm just running around in circles. I'm so excited. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, your new number one contenders for the Davis Boys Tag Team Championship. Come on, Antonelli and myself, Sam Brooks. Double championship, baby. Here we go. Yes! I am so excited to see that. But for now, we gotta move on to our next match of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is a last man standing match for the Supla Brawl Jabba Championship. As Lillian does her spiel on the ramp there, you see BSBF, we are still in big strong boy fight. Making his way to the ring first, the challenger, the former champion, the 10th wonder of the world, Brunk E. Rectus. One of the most dominating performers in all of Super Brawl history, this wrecking machine, with his alliance with Alquan, were the first ever Super Brawl Tag Team Champions only to lose in their first defense to the Davis boys. Brendan Davis on the warpath against size difference themselves. Brunk, on the other hand, as a solo competitor, has shown a dominant streak never before seen in Brawl. Horse Horse could not do it. Many other jobbers could not do it. Many have tried, many have failed to take the Jabba Championship from Brunk Erectus over his first reign. And it would be a redemption story for one Keelan Balderson, who would come out on top of an amazing matchup at When Doves Cry to become the new Supla Brawl Jabba Champion. But now, it's time for a last man standing match to determine the true champion. Here he is, there he is folks, woo! The conspiracy riding, government fighting, brunk slaying, belt taking son of a gun, woo! The Pundit Boy, the Gentleman Punisher, the Jabba Champion, Keelan Balderson. 
Look at him, wearing that Jabba's championship with pride and dignity. The resilience of Keelan Balderson is unmatched. It has never been seen before. He ate five or six different finishes and a kitchen sink in their previous bout. Could this be Keelan's downfall, however? His history with last man standing matches against Ric Flair would say that maybe his time is up. But for now, we're going to assume that this championship gives him enough motivation to keep it. Now, of course, being that he is Jabba champion, technically for the time being, Keelan is no longer a host per se. He is instead the Neville of the Jabba's division. He's stuck there behind a glass ceiling right up until he loses that belt. Then maybe he can come back into the fray. But for now, it's time for a last man standing match. Here we go. Oh, Keelan is straight out of the gate with an eye rake and a ball punch. He is not pulling any punches tonight, ladies and gentlemen. A stomp to the big beefy arm of Bronky Boy. Another one for good measure. And just a third one. God, Keelan. Keelan might have a new fire underneath him. Oh, just a flare chop straight to his chest. A very bad start right out of the gate for Bronky Rectus. Now, being a last man standing match, oh, Keelan just doing laps over Bronx legs, that's fine. That's cool. Whatever strategy works for you, buddy. I don't care. Going to the top rope. Measuring up. Brunky boy. What is he going for? A flying axe handle. Straight to the top of Brunk's top knot. And just choking him out. Referee, are you seeing this? You're staring right at it. And yet he brings him back up. Brunk reversing. Straight into that turnbuckle. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, right into that solid steel turnbuckle post. Oh, just stomping a mud hole of sorts. Bronx version of a mud hole. Oh, good lord. These two. These two. These two are really going to stand the test of time when it comes to legendary brawl rivalries. You may think back to Liam and Andy. You may think back to myself and Andy. You might think back to. Somebody else, and Andy probably, as the referee starts counting up to a three. Keelan and Bronk will go down in history as a solid rivalry, as the referee reaches a count of five. We are halfway there already. Could Bronk just be sat there crying on the mat? No. He just needed a time to recharge his big Bronky batteries. As he goes for a running power slam of his favorite wrestler, Braun Strowman taking influence from his contemporaries in the giant wrestling world. Now going for a boring rest hold on the shoulder of Keelan, looking to reclaim his former glory. That being said, the big strong boy fight earlier proved that both of these guys can take a loss. They're already not doing so good tonight. Maybe it's time for them both to prove everybody wrong. People have doubts about both Brunk and Keelan tonight. But the winner of this match will surely go down in history. One of the first ever on record last man standing matches will be won by either Keelan Bolison, the pundit boy who has a line of jobbers ready and willing and able to take their championship from him. Or Brunk will regain his spot atop the division on the throne that he once squashed several months ago. Referee reaches a count of three, by the way. Brunk is fine, maybe he just needs a couple of moments to rest. As referee reaches a count of six, Brunk is straight up. Nope, right back down again. Keelan going for the leg. The big tree trunks of Brunk. Brunk's trunks, as we're gonna call them. Keelan once again, going to the top rope. The spectators taking out their phones to take a picture of this marvelous moment. You may be going for a flying axe handle. Yes, straight onto the top knot once more. Maybe that is Brunk's weak point. Flair flopping around. Keelan just having a time of his life. On top of a division that he once looked down upon. 
Kronk again. Straight down. Keelan not being knocked off his feet yet. Count of five. Are we going to reach magic? Six. No, Bronk is still down. With a seven count. Oh, this could be it. This could be an embarrassment. No. Bronk is straight up. Oh, and he just bashes the referee with his giant head. Whatever works, Bronky boy. Keelan just taking it to Bronky Rectus, showing that he is not one to be fucked with anymore. Diving knee right onto his big Bronky forehead. Referee resumes his count once again. Keelan pacing around. Taking in the adoration of the crowd. But are they instead cheering for Brunk? I don't fucking know. It's just white noise to me. As the referee reaches a count of seven. Oh, good lord, Brunk. He reaches, he reaches his feet as he gets to the count of eight. Holy shit. Brunk, you are underperforming, buddy. I feel like you need to take it up a notch. I feel like you need to kick it into a higher gear. As the referee starts counting once again. Keelan, you are taking no prisoners tonight. Oh, Bronx feeling it. Bronx feeling something. Nope, oh, nope. Just raising his arms just a little bit. Reaching a count of six now. We could be in the danger zone. Bronx, this could be embarrassing. Oh, nope, he's up and he's straight back down again. Keelan. To get back to the fucking count again. Holy shit. Keelan, you are just... He's just decimating Bronk at this point. Is Bronk just tired? Did his loss, did his pin earlier tonight really take the wind out of his big Bronky sails? Apparently so. Count of eight, Bronk is up. No, Keelan is straight back on the offensive, just slapping him in the face. A reminiscence of their previous encounter. Oh, Bronk is actually reversing this time. He gets back on his feet. Keelan is down now after a small leg sweep. Referee count of two now. Maybe Keelan is all show and no go. Maybe his win last time was just a testament to his resilience. You can nuke a fridge, but will it still be able to store your lettuce? That is the question we will get the answer to tonight. Oh, Bronk with just a massive kick. Straight to the head of Keelan Balderson. Now just stomping on his asshole. Repeatedly. Really taking it to him. Oh, he brings him back down. Oh, just a rough kick to the back. Keelan writhing in pain. Bronk is not done yet, though. He feels embarrassed as he goes for a big slam. Working the legs once more. And now engaging the head. Good lord, these two. These two pull no punches on either side. Woo woo woo, why is that sign there? Bronk now just pushing Keelan down. You will not retain against me, Bronk says as he gets thrown to the floor himself. Keelan once again targeting the Bronk trunks, trying to keep him off his feet, a very smart move. There is no one who could really measure up to the level of Keelan's ring psychology of get hit a bunch of times until they get tired, and then just win out of nowhere. Referee had a count of five now. Could we be seeing the birth of a new dominant superstar tonight? Who the fuck knows anymore? For a count of eight. Bronky boy. This could be it. Oh, count of nine this time. I feel like Bronk doesn't have much left in his trunk. His Bronky trunky. Who knows what he's thinking now. Maybe he's just thinking to retire. Maybe he wants to go on the Bronchi Rectus retirement tour and just put an end to this misery after this match. Who knows? Maybe Bronk was just a one and done. Maybe. A lot of things. But I think... This could be embarrassing. Nope, just straight back again. For the love of God, Keelan, show some mercy to the man that built the belt that you are now holding. Just rig him in the eyes, punch him in the balls. Maybe just do that instead. Wow, Bronk getting tied up on the ropes there. Keelan's feeling it. He's feeling it, Mr. Krabs. He's going for just the, the standing there approach. Seen also in the big strong boy fight match earlier tonight. I feel like this could be it for Bronk. Maybe his big Bronky balls are his weakest spot. We're at a count of six. It's a count of seven now. Bronk, for the love of God, man. Count of eight. This could be it. Count of nine. No. Just really driving home that 10 count. 
He has 10 seconds to get up. Why get up in two? Oh, big slam onto the mat. Bronk showing some dominance now as Keelan is in the position Bronk was in just mere seconds ago. Count of three. Count of four. This could be bad. Keelan, though, he's not really had much in the way of uh, a pounding delivered to him. Maybe he is still made of tissue paper. We don't know. I'm just viciously attacking the Boulder Meister. Oh, here we go. Boldosaurus with a comeback sequence. He's going over top rope. Why are you doing that? Bad idea. Face first into that turnbuckle, as predicted. Oh, what the hell was that? That was just a failed bulldog or something. Just a straight up punch to the face. Oh my god. The gentleman slam. This could be it for Brunk. Keelan pulling a trick out of his asshole. Oh, Brunk. What happened to you, buddy? Well, the lights dimmed. You fell from grace. You fell from beauty. You fell from strength. To losing repeatedly to Keelan Balderson. Maybe this is the end of a boyhood dream. It is. It is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have seen the end of Broncomania. I, for one, don't know how to feel. On one hand, Brunk lost twice in one night. The gentleman slam connects and he stayed down for a 10 count. Keelan Balderson showing his new dominating tactics here tonight. Setting up many a rematch for the future. Who will be the first to come for Keelan Balderson's newly retained Championship of the Java Division. Will it be Barry? Will it be Derek? Will it be Horse Horse? There is many a strong, beefy name to come for Keelan. And if I were him, I'd be ready to watch my back. Because next up is a number one contenders match for the Jabba Championship. It is now time to determine Keelan Balderson's next challenger. And I know this first man very well. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is. My very own doppelganger. Second Sam. There he is, folks. Now, I've never talked at length about the origins of Second Sam before. So let me tell you the story. About a year and a half ago, when I was traveling the world, going through the mountains and the forests of the world, I encountered a mysterious place known as the Black Lodge, where anyone with an impure spirit will certainly perish. But luckily I'm a baller ass motherfucker, and I found someone who looked a lot like me, but was not me inside that lodge. I pulled him out of there. And I made them wrestle for Bro because we needed more people. And hey, who better to recruit than yourself? Biggest difference, of course, being is that I am the better half. This half is the weaker part of the team. We come together, we make a full Sam. So the doppelganger, second Sam, who I also enlist to help make uh, promotional trailers for our live shows. Maybe he's a good wrestler as well. He holds a victory over one Derek. Derek. But. He has yet to fight in a triple threat. As does. Brandon. Davis. Who could also become. A double champion. Relatively soon. Holding his half. Of the Supla Brawl Tag Team Championship there. With his. Twin brother Brendan. Brendan. Who knows where this could lead? Maybe this is a preview for Transatlantic Vice versus Davis Boys in some form. If my inferior doppelganger can hold a victory over Brandon Davis, maybe I can beat him and his brother for those tag team titles. 
but we're not going to find that out for another good while. So instead, let's see who is going to be the first one to face Keelan Balderson for the Java Championship between Second Sam, Brandon Davis, and the Wrecking Machine, Horse Horse. Straight out of future Germany, blue as can be, with his floating motorcycle, Horse Horse is on a tear. He was unable to dethrone Bronchi Rectus from the Jabba throne at a previous event. Could this perhaps be a redemption story for Horse Horse? We have yet to find out how he performs with two opponents standing across from him. After an impressive performance in the Victory Chode match from both Horse Horse and Brandon Davis, maybe we could see Second Sam at a disadvantage. But for now, we just have to speculate as we enter this really, really weird triple threat. But personally, I can't fucking comprehend. Brandon Davis going straight for Second Sam right out of the gate. Horse Horse just watching idly by. Oh god. What a pile driver straight to Second Sam. Horse Horse though not wasting any time with a swift disemboweling of Brandon Davis as he goes for a rest hold. And Second Sam just taking a moment to really process what situation he is in. Is he already got a finisher? What the fuck was that? Oh, with just a big slam to the big horse. Here we go, Brandon Davis. A tenacious pit bull, much like his brother. Second Sam, flashy and all ego, just like his real self. Horse Horse is also here. And he's having a good time. He's just happy to be here, taking down Brandon Davis. Any of these three men, a man horse, could potentially be the new number one contender for Keelan Balderson. Second Sam versus Keelan Balderson would be an interesting match, being that it is a former doppelganger of a meme detective against a meme detective. Brandon with a stiff clothesline right out of the gate, straight into Horse Horse's fucking face. And just a knee to the side of a temple, the Horse Temple. The Horses have temples, I don't know, they do now in this universe. Whoop, going for a big power bomb. Oh, the horse is down. Brandon just cleaning house. Second Sam is hung up in the ropes. Well, the fuck did he end up outside? Well, either way, he's going to take a few minutes to rest up as Horse Horse goes for a big suplex on Brandon Davis. Brandon Davis versus Keelan Balderson would be interesting. Seeing how Keelan Balderson and Brandon Davis are both the blackest members of the Supla, according to themselves. That is not me saying that. It could be an interesting clash of styles. Second Sam just picking up the horse. Big mistake from the big horse there. Kneeing him straight into the face. Brandon and Sam going for a double team maneuver, trying to eliminate the most dominant competitor in this match. Alliances do not last forever though, with a suplex from the doppelganger. Holy fuck, I am tired. Oh, this is an intense match of horse horse could potentially win and go on to face Keelan Balderson. If Keelan can beat Brunk, then by that logic, he can beat a horse. Are we beating a horse with this match? Who knows? Brandon just, oh, what the hell? Whatever was gonna happen there, it just got canceled because Brandon has no time for that. Oh, horse has had enough of Brandon. Horse is at a disadvantage here. As two humans, really, Stack the odds against his favor. Pin attempt broken up. That horse buster really didn't do the job. But we got Second Sam going for a ride straight into the mat right there. Horse Horse cleaning house now. Maybe it is Second Sam's turn next to get both of them on their backs. Who knows? Big belly to belly suplex from the raging horse. The wrecking machine. Oh, could it be this? Could it be this early? But we see the horseshoe. Could it be? The horseshoe connect! Second Sam is crawling back into the ring. Can he make it in time to break up a pinfall? Horse Horse goes. One, 
two seconds, Sam, like lightning, breaks up that pin. Brandon is dead on the mat. Horse Horse and Second Sam are now going to have a slugfest. Oh, holy shit, Second Sam bringing the pain to the horse. What's he going for here? A big knee to the gut. Second Sam, go for the pin on the... The, 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 sh the shameful corpse, but no. Horse Horse is now dead on the outside as Brandon and Sam have a big old rivalry culmination here. It is not me bearing in mind. It is my doppelganger. So it's not quite the last two people in the victory chode, but it's pretty damn close. Second Sam going for a pin. One, two, three. Holy fuck, that was quick. That came out of fucking nowhere. Good fucking lord. The horseshoe on Brandon spelled the end of this match here. Couldn't get the pin though. Second Sam, as the lights go out. Thanks. Do you wanna? What the fuck happened here then? That's not that. Us. Who cares? Second Sam did it. He did it. He beat the odds, and we will now see at a future date your new number one contender for the Jabba Championship. Second Sam versus Keelan Balderson. What a match that is gonna be. Will it end as quickly as this match did? Who knows? All I know is that Brandon better be feeling sorry for himself up against his uh, new combatants in his tag team championship defense to happen at some point in the future. Horse Horse was there too. So with that said, I think it's time for our main event. With a Supla Championship will be on the line. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for your main event of the evening. It is a singles match and it is for the Supla Brawl Championship. Interesting first, the challenger. From a test tube lab in Germany, Weighing in at an insignificant amount of pounds, the little beast, Andrew Kwan. Andy Kwan earning his number one contendership by defeating Liam Dunn in quick succession in a one-sided squash inside a Hell in a Cell. Maybe Andy's newfound aggression will carry him to becoming a two-time Supla Brawl champion. The inaugural champion in the old season following a Gold Rush tournament where he defeated me in the first round. He then went on to defend it once against Keelan Balderson and then lose in the same night in the main event. This is the curse of the Supla Championship. If a winner wins the belt, they either lose it in their first match, or they defend it once, and then they lose it in their second match. On the other hand... From a location somewhere inside your mind, totally reeking of awesomeness amount of pounds, the Super Brawl Champion! Sam Brooks, yours truly, how you doing? With Ellie Wilmer at his side. God, that looks great on me as my abs fold over the top of it. Ain't that wonderful? Now, my story to the championship started at Victory Chode, wherein I won the eponymous Victory Chode match, and I was inserted into a match against my team Bearhead Brethren. Brendan Davis and Carmine Antonelli. A ladder match where I would unhook the belt from the ladder to pick up a victory. At the next event, when doves cry, I successfully retained against the former champion, Carmine Antonelli, in a great match. If history is anything to go off of, I'm a marked man. And my time is up as champion being that this is my second defense 
of a defense that has never been surpassed before. If I win, if I retain this championship, I make history as the most dominant Supla Brawl champion in history. I have held the belt previously. I was never pinned for it. That is old news. Right now, I have the championship on my shoulder and I'm ready to defend it against perhaps my biggest rival in Brawl, Andy Kwan. Let's go. Let's kick things off, ladies and gentlemen. Andy with a big punch to the face of me and, oh, a suplex of his own. Oh, how cute. He wants to pretend like he's Lord Suplex. That uh, ain't happening, man. Oh, DDT. Right, here's the deal. Uh, I could probably, I'm probably, I'm expecting to lose here, to be honest. Like, this ain't fucking, let's not pretend for a second here, right? Because it would just it would make me mad, and that's what happens, right? But no, it could go either way, I suppose. Andy in the, uh, black and red, and myself in the black and red. I'm sure you'll be fine telling you to uh, support. I'm just taking a minute to uh, get my bearings. I just knee him in the face. Yeah, there you go. Take that, you little beast. You little, little beast. There we go. Uh, now, Elliot Ringside is the true X Factor in this match. Previously, she has not done much to help me win. She's just there to be there. But nevertheless, that could all change tonight. Oh, big diving splash. A high fly flow, one might say. From the top turnbuckle, ah oh, fuck. Andy's moveset, very high flying, very aerial. Mine, a mix of power and high flying. It's two opposites of the same coin, truly here today. Big slam onto my knee, putting him down to the mat. Andy reversing whatever I was gonna go for there. Make him tap, says the sign. I'll try and oblige. I don't know if I have a submission hold, but I'll make one up right now. Just for that man with the sign. Yep, you right there, buddy. As I take Andy into the corner. What am I going to try here? Potentially a life-ruining decision for either of us, or both of us, or neither of us. As we go for a big superplex! Into a rollover! Into another! Slam down to the mat. What a sick move. As I go for a pin on Andy, could this be it? One, two, no, kick out at two. First pinfall of the match, null and void at a two. Senior referee, Pud Nelson in the corner there, doing a questionable job at best, as Andy takes control of my large frame, taking me to the ropes and just sending me to the outside. Ellie, now is a good time to get involved, maybe. Andy and me. Fighting on the outside, could we see the use of the tables here? Nope, oh, right into the ring post. Oh, good miss with the kick, buddy. Yep, you did a good job there. Oh, standing moonsault. What a shame. If this ends in a count out, I still retain. So I don't know what your game plan here is, Andy. I could just stay out here and not have to deal with you at all. But no, you just really want to make my life pain, it seems. For God's sake, will you leave me alone? I'm nice to you sometimes, just remember those times. This is gonna end in a double count out. Are you kidding? Trials at seven. Oh, nope, not allowing that to happen. You're not getting away that easy. Straight into the steps. I'm gonna try and get us both back in. Maybe, we're at nine. Pick it up, maybe. Pick it up, maybe. What? Well. That happened. Uh, um, let's try that again, I suppose. Eh, the commissioner commented and I wasn't happy with that and he made me do it again. This time, there will be a conclusion to this match as I suplex Andy into the ground and I drive my knees right into his face. Oh boy, that was a fun start to this bout. What a what a chaotic way to end the evening, ladies and gentlemen. My game plan didn't work. I tried my best, but no. Title cannot change hands over a count out. This match will have a decisive finish. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We came so close. But it's fine. This just means I have to do my best, I suppose. Straight kick right into the stomach of Andrew Kwan. Oh, what the fuck did I try there? Andy, where are you going? Buddy, where are you going? What are you doing? 
Why are you walking away? Come back here. Oh, nope. You're gonna go further up? Yeah, you wanna run? You fucking run. Ah! For fuck's sake. What are you even doing? Get back in the ring. You bell end. Ah, fuck. Ow. God damn it. Yeah, you wanna try that? Yeah. See what happens. See what happens. I swear to God. I'm gonna win this match at a count out, apparently. Oh. Blocking whatever I was going for there. Ow. My butt. Ow, my butt. Oh my god, that hurts. Um, Spotlight's just freaking out there. He doesn't know what to focus on. Okay, Andy, you want to try this? You want to do this again? I don't think it's going to happen again. Oh yeah, you want to taunt at me, you little bitch? Alright, let's fucking do it then. Let's square go like you motherfucker. Ah, sling blade. Kind of glitchy, but who gives a fuck? It was a sling blade nonetheless. As I apply, a rasshole. Pud Nelson officiating this match, doing a good job so far. Holy fuck. Ellie, now would be a good time for you to get involved. Maybe just punch him in the dick while Pud isn't looking. I feel like that would be a good idea. But nope. Just leave me to go to the top turnbuckle. High risk. Will it pay off? Let's see what I'm going to go for here. Boom! Somewhat of an O-face. There's his O-face. Boom. Driving a knee to the face of Andy Guan. Just punishing his arm. Maybe so I can take the Q5 away from his arsenal. That would probably be what I would do if it were actually me, but it's not me. It's a video game representation of me, and I like to pretend. Here we go, Andy going for suplex. Oh, okay, cute. Yeah, we've established this. You want to try and take my throne? Not going to let that happen, buddy boy. Drop the hammer. I'm going to try. I don't even know if I have the burning hammer, but I do have the death drop. Waiting to be used. Ah, oh, fuck. Ow. 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 My fucking legs. Ow. I need those, you little bitch. Blah! Ha ha! Got you. Lured you into a trap. There's a false sense of security. Ah! Punch you in the face. Oh, here we go. It is time. Dragon suplex into a pin attempt. One. Two. Nope. Kick out at two. What a shame. Uh, I guess this means I have to go a bit harder. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, Andy. I'm through playing nice. I've tried to tried to appease the tension between us over the years. Will you fuck off? I've tried to appease the tension between us over the years. Yeah, you taunt. All right, I'll let you have this one. You ain't gonna win, though. If I can help it, maybe you'll just punch me a bit too hard and I'll get knocked out. Who knows? Here we go. Going for a spinning suplex. No, reversed. Ow, fuck you. Right into the back of my head. Oh, Aquan! Oh, great. Oh, this is exactly how I wanted it to go. Thanks, Carmine. I would have been happy with the first time. But no, Aquan. Gonna go for a pin. Ellie, might be a time to endure it. One, two. Oh, fucking hell. Nearly got me. Oh, his feet, his feet pack a punch. He's got, like, lead in his shoes. It's not... I don't know. The world is spinning right now. Like, I didn't have anything to eat for breakfast. Like, the lights, the lights are too bright. Yeah! Urgh. Come here, you little bitch! Pud, get out of my way! Oh, God! Oh, for fuck's sake, Pud! Ah, ha, ha! Got out of it! Got out of it, Andy! Ha! Ah, you trying to hit me with a Q5? I ain't gonna let that happen, baby! Here we go! It's time to bring it home! With a brand new finishing move! Potentially! Here we go! Here it is! I call this one... The S5! Ha, ha! Take that, Andy! One! Two! Free! Here is your winner! And still, Supla Brawl Champion, Sam Brooks, yours truly. Soon to be recognized as Supla Brawl's most dominant champion in history. <laughs> I tried to use Dirty Deeds to end Carmine's rematch to Clint, but it didn't work. I now debuted a new move, a new original move that I myself came up with, I like to call it VS5. And I came out the victor in this matchup. I tried to end it mercifully with a counter victory, but that wasn't allowed, apparently. 
You had to make me go and do this. Andy, I'm sorry, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Maybe next time you'll get your chance, but for now, bask in my glory! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for bearing witness to the inaugural big, strong boy fight. And let's face it, we wouldn't get to where we are today without a little sacrifice. <laughs>